How's it going everybody? Nick here again with another Cinema 4D tutorial and today we're going to be covering the um, luminance and object glow. So I set up a little scene here and um, pretty much I'll just be going over how to create the effect uh, that an object is glowing and it's emitting light from it. So as you can see um, all these bright yellow objects are glowing objects. They're emitting light around it, as you can tell from these little clusters. And um, it makes a really nice effect, and you can do some really nice things with it. So we'll go ahead and dive right into it. I'm gonna create a new project here. All right. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, set up a little scene. Your scene doesn't necessarily need to be identical to this, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a floor in here. I'm going to throw a sphere, because spheres are always nice when they're glowing. And I find that glowing objects in Cinema 4D always look best when there's something around it that um, it can emit light onto because when it's all alone it just seems like a really really bright color I'll uh, I'll show you what I mean so the first step to creating a glowing object is we need to create a material so I'm gonna come down here in our materials bar I'm gonna double click to create a material and I'm gonna double click on that material to bring up the material editor so for our uh, glowing object, you want to use this luminance tab. So we're going to check that and then we're going to uncheck the other two. Color and reflectance are checked on by default, but we're just going to check on luminance. Now, um, this is a lot like our color bar. So you can choose what color you want your object to glow and we'll make it glow a Kind of like a blue, bluish greenish. You can get this square by clicking this uh, gradient square. Usually it's closed, so you just click it and it opens up. Makes it a lot easier to choose your colors. And then down here, you see the brightness. Um, that's how bright your sphere is going to be, or your object is going to be. The lower it is, the the more dull and gray it is. So I usually just leave it at 100%. It's nice. So I'm going to X that out. And now we're going to apply this um, luminant material to our object. So I'm just going to click and drag. And then when, our, when it um, highlights the object, I'm just going to let go. So render settings are on default. So if we just go ahead and render this right now, it absolutely looks terrible. So there's two key things you need to do when using uh, luminance and you want to produce a uh, glowing object effect that really make it stand out above the rest. So we're going to come into our render settings which is the third one. It's the one with the cog on it. And we're going to right click here and we're going to add two things. We are going to come down here to object glow and we're going to add object glow and we're going to right click again and we're going to add global illumination. So we're going to exit out of our um, render settings. And I'm going to go ahead here and render and right off the bat you're going to notice this looks 1000 times better than it did before. The scene is dark, the only light in the object is our luminance material which is emitting the light which is very nice. So you notice that when it's rendered it looks good, but it doesn't look, um, it doesn't necessarily look like it's glowing, is what I meant. So if you have objects around it that aren't glowing, it really makes it stand out that that one object is glowing. So uh, what I'm going to do, and what I did on the little preview one, is I just took a sphere, I made it about uh, 30 diameters in radius it's inside of the big sphere right now and for simplicity I'm just gonna add an array object so it's this um, 
one with the green or the white square surrounded by green squares. And then I'm just going to click and drag our sphere into our array so that it becomes the child of the array. And then when I click on the array, I can move all these spheres all at once. And you can set the uh, radius of it, how far you want. You can make more copies. Um, you can kind of change the the randomness of it as well. So I just just mess around with the settings, create something random, something unique. And now when I go ahead and I render this, you'll see that the object now looks a lot more like it's glowing. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a second material with a nice reflective material to put on this um, array of spheres. So I'm just going to double click down here in our materials bar. I'm going to double click the material to open the materials editor. And now we can choose what color we want. I really like orange for ret reflective colors. I don't know why. It's just a personal pref personal preference. I cannot speak today. And I'm going to come into um, reflectance. So I'm just going to click remove right off the bat here and just get rid of all of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add and I'm going to come down here to reflection legacy. So this is the um, original uh, reflection settings from older Cinema 4Ds and it just I find it's easier to use and the only bar that we need to worry about now is this top bar this very top bar and it just sets the amount of reflectiveness so I'm just gonna set it about 20 so it's pretty reflective still I'm gonna X out of the material editor and I'm just going to drag and drop our color onto our spheres. So I'm going to go ahead and render. And see, it's, it gives a really nice effect when, um, when it's rendered against reflective objects. Now, the blue actually doesn't work very well with the orange. So I'm just going to quickly come back into here and I'm going to change it back to a brighter yellowish green. It works. It looks better with with the orange objects. So one thing, little tip here, um, if we're looking at the spheres where the reflection of our big sphere is, you can notice it's kind of sharp there's little edges, it isn't very smooth. This can be fixed very easily with a setting in the render settings. So if we come to render settings and go to anti-aliasing, it's set to geometry. If we set that to best, exit out and re-render that, it's gonna smooth those lines right out and um, improve the image by far. So now you can see all these lines are nice and smooth. There's no more jagged edges really improves the rendering. It does take a little bit more uh, power from your computer, but it's definitely worth it. So now that we got our first little scene here, we got our object glow, the global illumination, and it's it's lighting up our scene good. The only other thing I did for um, the little preview is I had just added some little pillars coming out of the ground. So I had taken a cube by clicking and dragging it on our cube here and holding over cube and then letting go. And I'm just going to set this to a uh, smaller cube, half decent height. And I just like adding a small uh, fillet on it, maybe seven. Let's go seven. And when I add I'm just going to copy and paste a few of these around at different heights just to light up the scene a little bit, give it a little bit of dynamics. <clears throat> We're going to render that quickly.
so you can see now um, whatever has this object glow emits light around the scene and it really uh, just helps light up the scene I usually like surrounding objects like I said that are glowing with other objects it makes them look a lot better in my opinion like this one just kinda looks like there's you can't really tell what it is it just kinda looks like a big bright square but this circle you can kinda tell now because we got some things surrounding so that's just a few little tricks for uh, object glow and how to get it working because I know at the beginning when I would try to use object glow and luminance um, it just looked terrible and nothing really worked so use these few little steps and these few little tricks and um, it'll definitely make your projects look much much better alright guys so that's gonna be it for this video if you like the content like the video if you want to see more content comment down below and subscribe and um, I'll see you all next time see you guys